Cancer, hello there my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late June, early July 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business as always and start you off with an oracle card here just to dip our toes in the energy and see what's going on for the lovely Cancerian Collective in Cancer season, might I add. Shuffle it up here one time. Let's see what's going on for my friends. And yeah, we're going to take a real quick look at this first card, then we'll fully get into the reading. And at the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowlands Arrow, just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. So let's get it going right away. Let's jump in here and see what's up for the Cancer Collective. And while we do, I would just like to wish you all a very happy birthday from me to you, especially if you're in the front end of cancer season here. We have just moved into your signs time, and we have this beautiful water sign energy here to start us off. I'm very used to seeing energies like this to start a water sign reading off. And we'll talk about a beautiful, imaginative, creative type of energy. But before we get into that, if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the June subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know, I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo into the reading. Let's talk about this card. So you see this image. It's this beautiful lady. She's sitting there. There's hot air balloons. There's this beautiful etheric sky behind her. There's nonsensical things happening there, too. So to me, this is very imaginative, extremely creative. There are some links here to the sleep state. So whenever I see this, I always say make sure you're getting proper rest, relaxation. Some of you might be having some sleep issues with this energy, but this is a very creative in, like creative energy overflowing. So some of you, if you're going through an emotional, t emotional time, if you're overthinking for whatever reason, expressing yourself is the route that spirit wants you to go. And like I said, this energy shows up often for water signs. Everybody knows that water signs are very tapped into unseen energies and handle emotions in a much deeper level than most other signs. So expressing those through creative outlets are always a good idea for water signs. So we're just going to put this down right here and we're going to get a move on. And trust me, I'm, I'm a double water sign myself. I totally get it. But yeah, that first card doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a footnote. So let's get these first three cards out before we get, it, get into the intuitive juicy stuff. I'm going to shuffle it up here for you here, my friends. The first reading of Cancer season. Let's see what's going on here, my gods. So, let's talk about last week's reading while we do. Last week's reading was titled An Unplanned Test. So, to me, that did feel like there could be various tests popping up for the Cancer Collective, whether it's a test of determination, a test of your endurance, whatever it might be. Like, Spirit could have been, like, testing you in various different ways to check your reaction, check your growth, and see how far along you've come. Now, tests aren't always easy to pass, right? Especially ones we don't see coming. But we're going to see what we have for you this week. The energy could be totally different. As you know, energy is very fluid, never set in stone. So only take this how it hits for you, right? Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone you're linked to. Let's get these first three cards out here. What we got from my cancer friends in their birthday season. My gods, talk to me. Thank you. Two cups, good energy. Good, good energy, my friends. Partnership type of energy. Soul bond, soul connection showing up here. Love, love, love the two of cups. Let's get you two more. It's a good start, generally, right? We still have to see what clarifies it. Okay, we got the eight of swords, a little stressed out. So we're getting a little bit of a back and forth here already. A little hot, a little cold, a little two steps forward, one step back type of energy. Let's get one more. Yeah, hopefully you're not stressed out about something on edge. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Six of Pentacles. And I always see this in people's birthday months. It's And I'll explain why. I always find it amusing that it shows up in someone's birthday month, but very giving. And I would say this cancer, like it's looking pretty positive aside from that eight of swords, but let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes before we get that juicy intuitive stuff going. Now, at first glance, when I look down here, obviously I noticed we have several different elements showing up. So this could be different situations, different areas of life, but these two on the back ends are generally seen as super positive cards. So let's work our way through them one by one, then we'll get intuitive. Position number one, the two of cups. Now in tarot, all twos represent decisions, choices, maybe being at a crossroads, but they especially represent partnerships. 
the two of cups that goes double. So when we see this, it doesn't always have to be romance, but it is someone that is willing to meet you halfway. This is like an, a very clean energetic exchange generally, depending on what the clarifier is. But I love the two of cups. It is a deep emotional bond and connection of some sort, whether that is romantic, whether it's a good friend, a family member, there is an extremely tight soul bond showing up here that spirit is highlighting. So we'll see what's up with this. For some of you, it could just be how you respond to others as well, like in general, like those that you're connected to. But it's beautiful. Like it really is a beautiful energy to start us off. But moving to the center, this is where we might see a couple little red flags because we have the Eight of Swords. To me, this is a card. Sometimes it shows up when someone is feeling cornered feeling trapped on its lower end the eight of swords could represent somebody who has a little bit of cap and fever their day-to-day -day life or something about their schedule is like a little overbearing this is a card of stress it's a card of nervousness anxiousness somebody who's overthinking very active mind so there might be certain situations you might be thinking about quite a bit running it through your head the good thing about this card is that it is a very fleeting energy this isn't a long lasting one it's one that can be resolved rather quickly because this individual could be freed from the those ties that bind her so we'll see what's up with all that it can be a card of feeling imprisoned in something as well one way or another. But moving to the back end, we get a complete opposite energy with the Six of Pentacles. It's absolutely beautiful to me. Now, I do sometimes link this to Libra, even though this is Earth energy. It has the scale, so maybe some of you are connected to Libra. If not, this is an extremely giving energy. This is an energy of charitable actions, giving of yourself, giving your energy, your focus to someone or something. It is extremely generous. Like you see the imagery there. This person's throwing those pentacles out left and right, left and right. So when I see this, I think of gift giving. That's why I said it was really intriguing to me that it shows up in like all the zodiac signs, birthday seasons, because this could be representing a gift you're receiving or a gift you're giving. So we'll want to see what's up with this. In relationships, it could just represent equality of some sort. Like I said in the beginning, people that meet each other halfway, equal give and take, all that good stuff, that good jazz. But since there are scales, there can be karmic undertones to this card as well. Whenever I see scales in a card, I think karmic. So we'll see what's up with that. I want to dive deeper, Cancer. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffle here for my friends. My God, spirit team, please. And yes, Cancer, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation, and I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that Two of Cups. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages that you want to give to Cancer, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, Two of Cups time. What's it doing here? Thank you. <clears throat> Star in reverse. Okay. Um, this could absolutely be like somebody you're really closely connected to losing confidence in themselves, or you might be losing confidence in somebody for one reason or another. The star in reverse is not generally the nicest energy. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to be honest with you because this is a card of hope. It's a card of wish fulfillment for a portion of you. If you're connected to an Aquarius, you might be having some bumpy roads with an Aquarius you're connected to. But when I see the star in reverse, I do think of someone who is not feeling super confident about this situation. They're not feeling too confident about this person. They might be seeing some actions or seeing some behaviors that might be raising some little alarms when we see it. It's nothing like to really be super freaked out about we'll see what shows up when we get to the eight of swords but there might be somebody you're closely connected to that you could be losing confidence in them especially in the long haul all right so take that for what it's worth i really don't feel like i need to over expand on that um there is someone's confidence that is being shaken up so to speak so if that's not how you're feeling towards someone maybe someone you hold very close and very near to, near and dear to your heart is going through a very tough period right now and they're losing confidence in themselves. So this might be someone that might need some uplifting in some way. We're going to keep moving because I really want to see what this Eight of Swords is about because they are they are closely connected, I believe. But there is some somebody losing confidence in one form or another, okay? Like not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. 
So let's go in on that Eight of Swords. I mean, I really want to get over to that Six of Pentacles. I feel like that's going to tie things up, but we'll go in on that Eight first. So why is this Eight of Swords here? Thank you. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. All right, this could be somebody that's been having some issues, some problems for quite a while. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright underneath the Eight of Swords. And remember I said this Eight of Swords energy is like a very fleeting energy. The Knight of Pentacles coming in tells us that like, yeah, these, these issues or this stress, this anxiousness, this nervousness, whatever it might be, could be like, there could be a history of it, right? Like this person's mind state or how they act, how they see things. So take that for whatever it's worth, but this is a very high strung type of individual. And whatever issues or problems they're going with, even going back to here, like, there's some issues that need to be, like, serious issues that need to be, like, really, t like, taken a look at, right? Resolved. Shine a light on it. Because, like, this is long-lasting for some reason. It's lingering. If not, yeah, maybe you're just connected to an earth sign that's having a particularly, particularly rough time right now. But the Knight of Pentacles is slow as molasses, right? It's just moving super, super slowly. So maybe there is something that's sticking around that's been a problem for a while. This could absolutely be a big problem of some sort that's been around for a minute. Like this isn't new, and but it's rearing its head for some reason. So take from that what you will, Cancer. I'm not going to like really overly conflate this message or keep piling on to it. I think you, you're picking up what I'm putting down. Obviously, this isn't going to hit for every single Cancer. Only take what hits for you. But we're going to go in on that Six of Pentacles and see what's up. I feel, for the most part, these first two alignments don't really focus around you. It could be other people or people you're connected to, whether they are stressing. But this does feel like... Uh, a big problem or an issue that's been around for quite a while all right it's nothing new whether it's this person's behaviors or way of thinking let's go in on the six of pentacles could be a flare-up of some sort thank you this all right so this feels completely opposite on the back end this feels good for a lot of cancerians we have the Hierophant in reverse. Now, you would normally think the Hierophant in reverse would be a rough card but to me in this specific sense it feels good because the Hierophant in reverse is like upheaval. It could also be shock or surprise when I see it. It's not the day-to-day -day life. So, of course, it could represent a Taurus. You might be connected to one. There's double cards of Taurus showing up here. But the Hierophant in reverse under the Six of Pentacles, like a lot of you might have some sort of good birthday surprise coming your way. Now, I know we got a little heavy here in the front end. We're talking about this person, problems, issues, sticking around for quite a while. But you might get some sort of reprieve or relief here on the back end. It's giving me that relief type of feeling. So for a lot of Cancerians, you might be receiving some sort of like unexpected gift or a surprise during your birthday season. I know that's, I mean, not super outside of the realm because it is your birthday season, but it's literally in the cards right here. For a portion of you, you have the Hierophant in reverse. It's just switching it up. So for some of you, you might need to change something in your schedule. You might need to change something in a dynamic to get better results, okay? Like purposefully, like what's happening in day-to-day -day life might not be optimal for whatever reason. So take from that what you will. Like, yes, this card could also represent connections and relationships, but we're not going to harp on it. I feel like it's those two messages. Either it's some sort of nice birthday surprise coming your way or you tinkering with something to get a more optimal result let's go through and do a quick little recap before we get into the shadow card if you kindly look in the box like i said the first two alignments i did feel like they were centering around other people that you're connected to but the two of cups with the star in reverse if you're not connected to an aquarius to me that did feel like somebody losing confidence or losing hope whether you're losing hope in someone or they're losing hope in themselves. Like it's someone going through a rough patch, they might need some upliftment here. However, that could be a frustrating thing because as we move to the center, we have the Eight of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. This anxiousness, this stress, this nervousness or bad behavior is nothing new. And I did say like this could be some sort of issue or problem that's been around for a while that is either rearing its head again or spirit is asking you to shine some light on. Take from now what you will. But it's not new. This is not new. Moving to the back end, this is where we get a little bit of relief in the reading, which is nice. We have the Six of Pentacles with the Hierophant in reverse. 
switching up the schedule changing from the norm which is nice a lot of you could be really in for a really nice birthday surprise which is a beautiful thing but for another portion of you yeah you might need to make some active changes in your day-to-day -day life to free some energy up and you would know what that would be so please take a screenshot i'm gonna get you one shadow card here my friends let's see what's in the shadows interesting reading this week i mean at least there was some relief on the back end there i'll say that but what do we got here for cancer please and yes, my friends, I always like to pull one quick shadow card, whether it's something within yourself or something you don't quite see. It's a nice introspective moment, I believe. So let's see what's in the shadows for you. My God's talk to me. What, what do we got in the shadows for cancer? Thank you. Chariot. Okay, that is your card, my friends, and it is showing up in the shadows. So something with self-confidence or how you look at yourself, view yourself, or treat yourself could be... <clears throat> really at the forefront of what spirit wants to talk to you about now generally the chariot is a card of forward movement forward momentum determination it's a beautiful energy but obviously as a shadow card it could be a little combative it could be quick to anger stuff like that and sometimes it could be someone that's having a flight response but to me since this is a cancer reading and that's your card spirit could be saying there's something around like how one views themselves or treats themselves looks at themselves not necessarily self-confidence, but do you treat yourself kindly? Do you treat yourself with love? As much as you love other people, do you love yourself? Like that is something, self-care is extra important when this card shows up for a cancer reading. So please, my friends, make sure you're taking care of yourself. So cancer, that's what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet though. I'm gonna give the details of the June subscriber surprise. If you got your name in for the May subscriber surprise, the winners will be announced in my community tab after this week's fire and air readings. But for the month of June, I'll be giving away two copies of the beautiful Everyday Witches Tarot. It's one of my favorite decks out there. So if you'd like to get your name in for this, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed, which I'm sure you already are. And second, let me know down in the comments out of all the cards in this week's reading, which one explains how you're feeling currently right now which one are you vibing with you'll be entered to win and at the end of the month i'll put the winners in my community tab as always my friends much love and i'll see you next time